Uh, so last time we left off, you guys had just crossed the bridge into the Red Forest from Lomansk and got into a little fight with some bandits who didn't uh, who didn't take too kindly to you being on the doorstep. Uh, you murked them. We lost all the footage. <laughs> and, we, and we didn't post it. We murked <laughs> them and OBS. And OBS, yeah. And OBS murked us in return. So, uh, you guys uh, have collected some gear from them. You, I, I highly doubt you uh, gave their bodies a proper burial. I don't, I don't, you're just leaving them to rot in the sun. I think it's done like me. Okay, now I think Dink is working on some uh, wood shop in this room now. Really? Is it picking up like, every squeak in my chair? <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a like, it sounded like, I'm a, having... like a coping saw going into two by four for a second. Uh, <laughs> like pre-recording, you guys don't understand how much like headache I was having with my sound, and apparently this is as good as the solution is going to be. Apparently, it's not a not a good solution, but <laughs> it's, it's fine. It'll be it'll be fine. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what are, you, what are you guys doing now? Uh, apparently crafting fine furniture. Yeah, as you do. Yeah. Zone-crafted Amish furniture. <laughs> oh, this has been, like, a month. Where were we going? Uh, so, oh, yeah, might as well fill in the people, too, yeah. <laughs> in case they missed it. So, you were given a task <laughs> to, uh, Take some stuff up to uh, the mobile science lab in Jupiter. Jupiter. Ah, yeah. Jupiter. God damn Jupiter. Yes. Uh, which uh, will result in you guys getting more work, making more friends, and hopefully uh, getting more money from better artifacts that you guys can uh, find throughout the zone. Make friends and influence people. Yeah. I wish someone wrote a book on that. It'd never sell. Probably not. Uh so yeah. Bori is over there picking up uh, you know, some rubles out of people's pockets. What what are y'all doing? There you're on the other side of the bridge now. You've taken over the old little bandit outpost here. To the north of you is a road that goes to what looks like a tunnel. There's another off-road that goes past some broke-down cars, past a fence, and then there's a road going south. Look at my sheet. Remember how well I fared in the firefight? <laughs> oh, how bad was <laughs> Looks like it wasn't great. <laughs> Got 15 HP. That's good enough. Out of enough. 25. Good enough. All right. I'll live. But it's going to leave a mark. I got down to 32 health. Oh, man. oh look at you. Rough times ahead for you, buddy. Oh, I know. All right. Yeah, so you uh, so, you got three different ways you can go. To the west of you, there's a, a big ridge line and trees as far as you can see. Behind you is the bridge, and uh, whoever who's got the Geiger counter, probably Dinka. <laughs> probably, <laughs> I would imagine. I don't remember who had it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you can tell there's uh, there's some ambient radiation here. Seems to be a little bit more than uh, the other places you guys have journeyed through. The uh, the scientist gave us the job, gave us a map too, didn't they? To tell us how to get to Jupiter. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Okay. So it looks like we need to be moving north. Uh, there's a couple of options. There's that gate over there. There's a tunnel here. It's not clear where it comes out. And then, oops. And then it looks like south of here, there's another entrance into the forest. 
Well, if south is opposite of north, probably shouldn't go that way. Yeah, probably not. Uh, we haven't had a good track record with going through tunnels. At least I haven't. Agreed. I was just. Thinking. I'm taking. Uh, take a walk through the forest. Can't be too bad, right? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, it's right, all so. it's all fine. Don't worry we're gonna, about it. We're gonna make uh, the this game. This is a watchtower right here, right? Yeah, it's a tower. Yep. Can I climb up it and have a peek seize on over this away? Yeah, sure. I'm not trying to drag you around, I promise. I'm trying to move the map around. Fuck my roll. I'm going to go and move up and cover. What the hell? Cover the stairs up there, if that's where they are. I'll just keep eyes this direction. Alrighty. So what would I roll? Just spot? Uh, yeah, just a spot check, yep. 14 plus 7. Uh, 21. 21. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay, so... You can see off a little bit, but the trees are blocking a lot of your uh, your vision. Uh, looks like that road to the south kind of winds around a little bit uh, and keeps heading. Uh, it winds out, and, uh, starts heading off to the east. The, uh, the little path going up into the forest, going west, uh, that it looks pretty open. There's some dirt paths that you know were must have been some kind of low maintenance road at some point. Uh, to the north, you can't really see anything. You see the tunnel, it goes into the side of a hill, and then it's yeah, not much. And then there's uh, obviously the uh, river of radioactive waste, you know, to your west, which is which is fine. Uh, so refreshing. Yeah, it's seven up. So ocean of seven up. <laughs> Bubbly. Ah, yeah. Nothing to report. I'll just head on towards the forest then. So we're just going to go through the forest then? That's the avenue you want to take? It seems to be. Okay, well, who's got point? I'll take point. Let me see if I can make my icon yeah, usable you, again. Yeah, can you move it? Yes. Can you delete the old one and bring a new one in? There you go. Yes, put a new one down. Yeah. Nope. Now there's just a giant DK on the road south. Oh. Aha! Big Dinka. <laughs> a big Dinka. Oh. Don't ever talk yeah. to me or my son again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, it only wants to let me control Kevin. Oh, well, hold on. I'm moving mine. And now it'll let me move this box that says firefight. What's going on? I'm just having the worst technical problems tonight. Oh, now you're blue. What? No, there's a blue circle. I don't want that. Why is that there? The color. Uh, okay. I, I will point you. and you can move me. Okay. I locked you. <laughs> okay. Try it again. Oh, I, lo it. I locked you and I unlocked you. So I don't know. Uh, Kevin and Firefight. See, like I can move the Firefight thing. It's so weird. And I can move Kevin. Okay. Well, that's fine. You just point me. I'll, I'll move you. So, oh, yeah. Who's got point? Borea okay, volunteers for point. point. Uh, Borea does? Yeah, but right. you, you guys can settle it amongst yourself. I'll take point. I'm the uh, the, hugger. the hugger. hugger. Can't hug you from far away. 
Okay, Bori, uh, Bori will take up the rear. Okay, so we're ready to move into the the unknown forest. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Okay. You start moving in. <laughs> it's uh it's a pretty dark forest. <laughs> Trees all around you. Uh you can hear some animal wildlife in the you know around in the distance. Don't hear much. Uh but uh, is there a direct path north, or is it? Do we got to go like? Uh, so it's yeah the the roads seem to be clear of anomalies, but if you try to get off of them at all, they turn into uh, anomaly infested shitholes. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Not quite. Yeah, not the best option. <laughs> I want to just keep. Eyes open for threats, just generally. Okay, roll spot checks. Spot All checks. right. And I, I can't do a oh, okay. D, so a fifteen, so a plus ten, twenty-five. Wait, didn't this just say fourteen? Then it rolled over to six. What's going on? You must All right, I'll take the six. You bumped the table. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Because you can like you, you can like shake the box. Ah, whatever. I'll take the six. Uh, so that's a twenty-two. I got a twenty-five because uh, I got I have a modifier of ten for my spot. I rolled a fifteen. I got a seventeen. Uh, can you share your rolls too? Uh, just oh. the little, the little uh, hold on, world the little globe. Yeah, okay. the little world. There you go. Alrighty. Okay, cool. Uh, what'd you get, Dinkers? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys do not hear anything uh, other than the normal sounds of woodland creatures prancing through the forest. Okay. You continue. Oh, that's interesting. There's creatures still alive. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure it's just Bambi right around the corner. Yeah, you make it out to a clearing here. And there seems to be a very interesting sort of uh, anomaly you guys haven't seen yet before in the center of the clearing. Oh. Ooh. It's uh it's quite noticeable. <laughs> Uh, you hear like the closer you get, you start to hear a uh, a low humming sound, and eventually you are met with oh that's oh well, you're all dead sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> ah! sorry buddy. didn't mean to uh, you're all met with a uh, yeah a, a giant sphere probably three meters across kind of floating off the ground a little bit uh, which uh, yeah seems to be sort of transparent. I want to throw a rock at it. We haven't seen one of these before. Uh, no. We we didn't see one of these in Lemansk. Uh, like did a you whole guys, bunch of them in Lemansk. Did you guys see the teleport? Or is it a spatial anomaly? Yeah, we yeah, saw yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of them in Lemansk and went around them. Oh, we did. Yeah, it's been a month. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you see very familiar shapes. <laughs> retcon. 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 <laughs> Pay no attention. No matter. <laughs> yeah, you see. Man, there's no proof we even went to Lamansk right that's now. That's true. Yeah, there's no documentation. It got redacted. We didn't. We don't even have session notes. <laughs> this is an SCP. Yeah. Dude, I have session notes. Do you post them? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't type them up, but I have them. I wrote them on paper like the fucking boomer that I am. Which is fine. But yeah, you guys see one of those anomalies that uh, you guys went around. Uh, in the mix. There you go. Neat. Well, the detector going off at all? Yeah. Oh, wave yeah. the detector yeah. at it. He's, uh, yeah, it's going off a little bit. Yeah. That, that's certainly some kind of anomalous uh, 
entity. It's an anomalous anomaly. Hmm. How anomalous. What happens if I just Kevin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drop Kevin in it. No. Well, is there can we see an artifact of any variety? Uh, well, the detector seems to think that there is in fact an artifact somewhere around this. Well, let's poke around. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I would Where's like to stick? roll to poke. Well, roll, <laughs> just roll sort your, of like roll your poke. Clench my mosin. <laughs> No, we, we we brought a stick for this purpose. It's not like we could find one in the forest. <laughs> uh, so you, stick. The longer you guys poke around uh, and try to find where the the source of the artifact is coming from, uh, the more you guys are uh, unable to find it. Hmm. Well, you, you let's start inside. It would seem likely. It also seems likely that you probably don't want to go inside. I, I'm not really feeling the need to go inside. I mean, you, you two are Western. You guys have seen Sphere before. Look, you know how this ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. No. We got a job already. Well, that's neat. I'm going to keep going north. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going that way. <laughs> Dang it, stop moving, Kevin. <laughs> uh, well, uh, up here is uh, more anomalies, mostly electros and uh, the other variety. Uh, is there no path? Uh, the path goes this way. Well, then uh, let's carry on along the path. Uh, Let's go that way then. Ah! <laughs> but Nick can't. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. You're done. I can't move me. I can move Kevin as he skips along the path merrily. <laughs> How annoying. Why are you able to move me, but not you? I, I have no I idea. Know. Yeah. I, I don't Technology know. hates me. Well, uh, as you guys begin to progress up the path and closer to the uh, you know, the fog wall of fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> the weather system of friendship. <laughs> the weather system of friendship, that's right. Uh, yeah, you guys hear a loud, ungodly roar. Fuck. Yay. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, shoot at it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, roll, roll uh, uh, Will saves. Oh, Will saves. It's called Will. Yeah. That was Horrible. Safe. Wisdom. Yeah, right into your reflex. Wisdom. Okay, so. Oh, I see. D I got 20. Not, not a nat twenty though. Hold on, which is fine. Twenty two. Sixteen. Because uh, okay. mine's a because okay. my will's a four. Okay. Is there like static happening, or is that on my end again? Uh, there was static happening. Uh, I don't know okay. where it was coming from, but uh, I don't think it was me. Oh yeah. look, I can I can dink it again. Oh, the zone is a mercurial beast. I had to clear uh, the cache. Oh, that works. Would you roll? Uh, twenty-two. Okay, cool. I roll Boria. Nice. Okay, he's good. Okay, that was the will save, right? We didn't do it. Yeah, initiative. It was, that was will save. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-two. Okay. So yeah, now uh, now we're good for initiative. Uh, yeah. Roll them up, boys. Rolling. Fuck. Okay. I can't. Oh, ah, oh dang it. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
10. Okay. 15. Uh, make, your Seven. Rolls, make your rolls public, Dinker. Oh, I thought they were. No, you uh, probably bring clear the cash. Probably stop it. Oh, I did. Uh, it was a 10 modified, which, what's my modifier? Two. So it was an eight. So let me roll until I hit an eight again. Because I was playing with the dice. So my. Wait, this is a initiative? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There we okay, go. so it's four. And I rolled a three, so that's a fucking <laughs> seven. <clears throat> okay, so we Fuck. have. Uh, one second. Open the pad. I don't remember this one from the video game. This one's not in the game. This is not lore accurate. How am I supposed oh to metagame this? Okay, so. Core Kevin Boria. Okay, and let's see what Mr. Bear rolls. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, oh, that was Burr. powerful. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Corlin, you're up. The bear is about uh, it's about forty feet away from y'all. And he has smelled you, he's staring at you, and he's a, a hungry goober. I want to shoot him, like, right in the nose. Roll to shoot in the nose. Smell this. Oh, God. No. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> that's a, that's a... Well, I mean, hang on. There's, there's, I, got a, I got a, you know, plus five. That's true. So... <laughs> okay. Cool. Shooting trees behind uh, yeah. him. You guys watch as Corlin uh, begins to fire like a predator style into the trees. Bagged yes. <laughs> up into the shrubs. <laughs> Fuck the vegetation. <laughs> All right, Dinka, you're up. <laughs> you said it was how far away? Uh, he's about forty feet away. Forty feet. Yep. So 18 plus 5. 23 to hit. That'll do her. Neat. Roll for damage. Which is 2d10. Then you probably have to clear your dice box before you do it. Because it'll add to your 20. Which is stupid. Uh, 5. <laughs> okay. Wait, 3? What? Apparently three. Did it roll? Did it keep rolling? Oh, look, it'll keep rolling. Well, okay. So call it three, because that's what it stopped on. There we go. Okay. Three whole damage on 2d10. So Lovely. It's impressive. Kevin, you're up. <laughs> Take okay. a picture. It'll last longer. There is just got really thick skin, you know? Seven don't hit. Do it. Uh, nope. Seven do not do. I, I hit it in its rotten ear. Uh, all, right. all right. Boria, uh, he moves his... Uh, <laughs> he, he starts to sprint <laughs> to the north a little bit. And uh, then he fires. I forgot we have movement, too. <laughs> You will be punished. I was say, we should have run back this way. <laughs> Bring it through the anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, looks like Boria is uh, hitting. Uh, okay, roll. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he, he slaps it pretty hard for 15. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, that feel when you need to pull up the calculator. Okay, all right, and now Mr. Bear. Uh, okay, and he decides to 
go after Kevin. I cough. <laughs> I didn't do it. The dice decided. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I, it was nice knowing you, Kevin. Uh, and he decides to uh, have a nice bite of a Kevin sandwich. Suboptimal. Uh, yeah, well, I should probably roll attack for it, shouldn't I? <laughs> Uh, decides, yeah. Does it succeed? Does a twenty-two hit you? <laughs> Oof! I think it does. Oh uh, shit! I'm pretty sure. I, I don't remember. Uh, my AC. for my HP. Your my AC. Defense? Your defense. A defense is twenty-two. Yeah. Oh, it is twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Plus Good. five or whatever. <laughs> oh right, right. Because you have the new suits. Uh, well, yeah. he he does dis- he he does manage to bite you and uh. You take 10. Okay. This is the game where the DM gets tired of the scheduling conflicts and wipes the party. <laughs> <laughs> Miss a session, will you? <laughs> Wipe. <clears throat> well, if that was true, then Bory would be the one to be okay. <laughs> the bear really doesn't like Bory. <laughs> just, just, he smells tasty. Uh, so yeah, 10. I don't know how fucked you are, Kevin. Uh, that brings me down to 26. Oh, no, you're fine. What were you complaining yeah. about? <laughs> Takes massive damage, still has more HP than I do when I'm fully healthy. Well, that's I don't know. Did. I just opened the file and it said 36. Like, <laughs> And it's been like a month and a half. I have to trust the character sheet because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, uh, we're back to Dinkers. Or uh, Corlin. Uh, Not Dinkers. Corlin. Corlan. Corlans. Yeah. No. Corlanzo. Corlanzo. I'm thinking I'm going to like back up 20 feet because I can't run for shit anymore. No. Nope. That gets me. Uh, about the same distance for you, mates. I go that way. So I'm not shooting into, into no, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See, now we have a battle map. You know, you know. We can get tactical. Yeah, tactical. Tactical, man. And then I'm just going to try and shoot him again. There you go. Does a 20 hit? Uh, yes. Yeah! Forget my damage. 2d6, I think. Yeah. 2d6. Yeah. No, wait. 2d8, fuck me. 11. 11. Excellent. Okay. All righty, we are to Dinka. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, it scales all up. I'm going to use my movement to try and go this way. That's probably 30 feet, right? Just judging off of uh, where's about your... how everybody else moved. Oh, yeah, use your little Uber. Went from went from here to oh, Char. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you, you have the SEVA so you can move faster, but yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, uh that's probably good. Yeah. And then I will open fire on Yogi Barra here. Okay. That's a D twenty. Oh, that's a two to hit plus my mod. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> you didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh I don't think an action point's gonna save me, so I'm just gonna swear and carry on. There you go. All right, we are up to Kevin. There's a bear in your face. <laughs> and I run from it. Uh, yeah, he let go after he, he took the chunk out of you. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, hold on. Let me. Where's the fucking pointer? Give me the goddamn pointer. I'm gonna go up here a bit so that way there's like three rifles pointing at it. Okay, that works from a distance. So I'm gonna. God damn it! Is it is that too far? Uh, I mean twenties. Probably, I don't know, more like up here if you wanted to get really far away from them. Really. All righty. 20 feet? Yeah, probably. That's that's sick because we don't actually have a scaled map. So, okay. So, actually, like right here. Uh, but it's like, oh, so I get, grab it. I was going to say, like, here if you can see my pointer. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. yeah. So, right here. 
There you go. Yeah, that works. That works. All right. I off it a bit because Buck being close to something like that. And uh, I don't recall that. That's my movement. I can't really attack, can I? You can shoot. Yeah, you can move and shoot. All right. I'm, all right. I'm going to shoot. Buck's sake. Let's see. Uh, 10. So, uh, nope. Do you want to burn an action point? Sure, with a d6. Yeah, let's add a 6 to it. Add a d6. What the fuck? 13. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I, made, I made some noise. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you, you, you fired over it. You scared it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the, you, uh, you guys, uh, don't hear anything coming from Boria's direction. Uh, oh, and, fuck. And the bear has decided to sustain itself on Dinka meat. The best, most tastiest meat in the zone. Ooh. Hey, friend. Hi. <laughs> and give me a little kiss. <laughs> okay. Oh, Grandma, what large teeth you have. Uh, what's your AC, Deakers? Ah. Uh, your defense, defense is yeah. 20. Okay, yeah, he, uh, he does bite you as well. Ouch. Stop. Don't touch me there. That 13 is my no -no square. Of damage. 13. Bring it on. What are you down to now? I'm still alive. Two. two. Yeah, two. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah. All right. We need it all buff. It's a nice, uh, nice Siva suit you spent like you know, 40000 All of my money on. <laughs> I'm going to help ventilate it a little bit real quick. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's what you need on a sealed environmental suit seems, ventilation. Seems stuffy in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to Corlin. Uh, so you saw the bear run off. Uh, you can kind of see through the trees that uh, Dinka's been uh, savagely mollerized. Yeah, yeah, been mauled. I'm gonna run, you know, twenty feet forward. So that's what gets me here-ish. That works. That works. Yeah, I'm gonna run there and then uh, open fire again. Okay. Uh, it's a ten hit. Uh, would you like to use an action point? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't really think a 16 would hit. Okay, well, the, the 10 does not. Uh, now we're back to Dinkers. You got a bear in your face. What do you do? Can you hold actions in this system like you can in D&D? &D? Hold actions, what do you mean? So, like, you declare, like, I want to do a thing, assuming condition is met. And then if that condition gets met, you pull your action out of turn. Because you no pre burned it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's lame. So, what is that? Well, I was thinking like I want to run back towards the <clears throat> anomaly, and then hold the action to jump the fuck out of the way if the bear charges me, and try to send him into it. But that's uh, not a thing. In no, the that system. would be uh, that would be reacting to the bear if he decides to charge you again. You could uh, like you can react like that. Reflex. I want to out of it. Yeah, you could. I want to try to do that, however that works in this system. Okay. So I'm going to move here and get his attention by shooting in his general direction, but probably not hitting him. I was going to say, hitting him's a little too... Uh, that's ambitious. Nine. Yeah, that's not going to... Uh, inside 30 feet, plus six. I'm going to burn an action point on that. Okay. No, I don't want to close my character sheet. No, I closed my character sheet. It's game over. Been Technologically. Uh, all right. So throw a d6 in there. That's a 15. Okay. Plus my two hit, which you're inside 30 feet, so that's another six. Yep. If that hits. 21 to hit? Mm-hmm. Ah, sweet. It'll hit. Short two, short two d10. Eight. 16. 18. But we're inside 30 feet, so 19. 19 damage. 19 damage. Okay. Yep. You, yeah, you, you piss him off pretty good. Goodly. Uh, bigly. Bigly. Uh, and 
and Bigly yeah, bad. back to Kevin. You see, uh, you see Dinkers blasting with Grandpa's nugger. Oh, yeah, he finally hit something. Yeah, uh, right. I mean, bay so, that range to do it, but I did it. You you said the you hear nothing from Boria. Where is Boria? Uh he ran off in the, the forest. Uh, his last known location is uh, where his little character marker is. But he's not but, there. Uh, well, you can't really see him uh, through the forest, but you know, that could just be because you know it's uh, yeah, the, the trees are thick or something. But uh, if you guys uh, do recall the area that he did run into, which is pretty much uh, I'll just mark it real quick. Um, oh, that's. Horrible. Uh, different color. Here we go. One second. There. Uh, if you guys do recall, uh, the the area like uh, to the up here, and the area kind of like down here, just full of anomalies. Oh fuck! Well, we got a fuck ass bear. We got Winnie the Pooh and his hundred acre shit pile. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I gotta go take care of this, so I'm gonna move. No bother. No bother. Because he chambered <laughs> another round. I'm gonna be right next to Orlin, if that's a reasonable distance to run. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot the fucker. All righty, roll the hit, buddy. Thirteen. Oh, would you like to spend an action point? Or well, what's your total? Let's see. Fourteen. <laughs> would so you like to I spend an used... action? Would you like to I... spend an action point? I'd no. God damn it. <clears throat> it was a five. Ignore the eighteen. I don't know how to take off a, a die. Uh, I think you have to take all of them off. Yeah, you have to clear the okay, box. Okay, so it was a five. For the action point? No, for mm -hmm. uh, the d20. Oh. No. Oh, well, I got a six. Uh, yeah, it does does not hit. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, and uh, again, nothing from, from Boria's last known direction. And we're back God. to Portland. Uh... I'm going to move, you know, maybe a little closer. And I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that could be an issue. <laughs> it appears getting closer isn't helping. Oh, wait, the bear didn't go. <laughs> oh. Oh no, not the bear. <laughs> yeah, the bear did. Oh no, I have to reroll. Darn it. <laughs> oh, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, the bear has decided that it really wants a dinka. Uh, so, I don't smell like blood or anything. Uh, well, you did kind of shoot him. Uh, that too. Yeah. He's got a myriad of reasons to want another bite of dinka. Uh, but yeah, he's he's charging at you. Uh, you said your, your goal was to uh, jump out of the way. Sure, yeah, I try to get out of the way and hopefully send him into the anomaly. Anom anom okay, well, uh, yeah, roll a reflex save. Oh, yeah. You better make it or else you might end up uh, somewhere with the bear that's not here. <laughs> <Eight. laughs> this dice box isn't like me any other, any better than the other one did. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah, no, that's, a, that's, that's a, a modified eight. Action point. I hope he's yeah, action point. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do that on these rolls too, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll work. Did it really? I was just saying DC ten. Yeah, let's jump out of the way. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. And uh, the bear goes into the uh, the big uh, sphere of doom, and uh, yeah, he he ceases to uh, be there. He's gone. Jesus. That problem won't come back to bite us later. No, it's fine. 
Oh, so yeah, Foresters very just... disappeared. Forrester's just trying to figure out what that noise in his basement is. <laughs> yeah, <sweet. laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> They just you have like the the other end of a teleporter, like in, in your basement. <laughs> your snork screaming randomly. Oh yeah, so your bear problems have gone away. Right. I can't believe that's worked. <laughs> well, that was nice. So, uh, can it come back out? Let's get out of here before we find out. Okay. Where's Boria? Uh, yeah. Let's get out of here before we find out. No, I'm kidding. Oh, God. Who has the package? (laughs) I don't know. Who has the package? I hope it's... Uh, Let me see. Let me see if I wrote it down. Probably Boria because he's our mule. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to say he was your mule. (laughs) The pack mule. (laughs) Oh... Well, we need to try and find him now. Uh, Krugelov says no touchy spatial anomalies. Uh, <clears throat> no, he doesn't say. So I'm assuming he did. So let's go find him. So I want to go right up to the edge of this line that only I can see right there. It's the medical eyes. It's a it's a field of anomalies, uh, mostly electros. <laughs> Make my way up here and hand Coral in the uh, detector, clap him on the back and say, good luck. <laughs> hey. I point to my leg, which is bending in the wrong fucking direction. <laughs> but before I even go, can I see a body? It's uh, bright yellow suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no body. All right. I mean, you got nah. bolts. You got bolts in the detector. You might as well go for it. Sure, we'll go. You know, a, a little bit in. Well, uh, yeah, you, you pretty easily get around. The anomalies are spaced out about every you know ten foot, so you're you're able to get around the pretty oh. easy. <clears throat> uh, and yeah, you, uh, yeah, you you guys can no longer find. Uh, Boria's body anywhere, but you do seem to find a uh, another one of the uh, those weirdo anomalies. Oh, oh boy. Is there a bear there? <laughs> <laughs> it, just come, it just comes out like a hundred feet, like north. <laughs> well, there's another uh, you know sphere here, so. Are we sure he had the package? <coughs> Pretty sure. Uh, we'll join him. Oh, wait. Can, can I confidently make my way up there, or is that suicide? Uh, I mean, you saw how he did it. It would be right. difficult. I mean, join him up there. Right. Uh, I, I saw as well, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, do, 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 do. Love said not to touch these. But we could throw no some package down, right? means no job. Fuck. Uh, I want to try. Is there like a stick or a branch or something on the ground? I have the stick. Uh, yeah, there's, the there's, stick. there's sticks, rocks, yeah, wanna... squirrels, whatever you need I... to throw. Yeah, <laughs> <Squirrel>. <laughs> I saw how the anomaly reacted or didn't react when the bear went in. So I'm pretty confident it's not going to like lash fire at me or something ridiculous if I touch it. So I want to put a stick into it and then pull it back out and see if I still have a stick or if it got cut in half. Or maybe you'll just disappear. Or it sucks me in. <laughs> I'm going to do that thing that, and see what happens. I want to look like around it. Maybe I see a backpack or something. Uh, yeah, if I'm no, lucky. Probably nope, not. No backpack around there. No. Damn. Uh, when you put your stick in, and it doesn't seem to do much uh, when you poke the stick through the little bubble. When I pull it back, is it still intact, or did it's, it's part still of it intact. go away? No, it's still intact. Well, seems like it doesn't just teleport away whatever goes into it. So it looks like it's more of a doorway. 
do we have a rope? We could like tie it on to someone and send them through and pull them back out real quick. I don't have a rope. Uh, gas okay. mask, tram rations. Yeah, no, I don't have anything even rope like. No, I have a bandolier. Bandolier. So, what, six feet, maybe? Um, well, considering we got what 40 feet inside the red forest and got attacked by the world's angriest bear since Cocaine Bear. Uh, <laughs> and I'm almost dead. My chances of making it back through here are pretty slim. So somebody just hold on to my hand so I don't fall in, and I'm gonna lean into it and see what happens. All right, yeah, I'll uh, oops, I'll latch on. I'll hold on to a belt. <laughs> so you're going in, huh? I'm oh, gonna fuck. at least stick my head in, and if fuck. it kills me, I'm almost dead anyway. But hopefully, I can see what's on the other side. So you stick your head in. <laughs> fuck's sake! And it stays there. <laughs> Tinker, roll a new character. Okay, well, Dinka sticks his head in. Uh, as you pass your head through the bubble, uh, it doesn't look very much different at all on the inside. It's just kind of like a little opaque. Hmm. Like it looks like what would be there if it wasn't there? Yeah. Just foggy? Yeah, just, just a little foggy on the other side. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to try and stand back up and report what I saw. Uh, yeah, you pull your head out. And, uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I didn't really see anything. It was like what you would expect to be there, like if the anomaly wasn't there. Uh, and it didn't kill me. Maybe call for Boria? Let's, let's see if that does anything. Yeah, let's shout for him. Uh, yeah, nothing. Lean in and shout for him. <laughs> Stick your head uh, in first, then yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, nothing again. <laughs> yep. I don't hear anything. Yet. It yeah. looks like it doesn't hurt you. Do we want to try to enter it? Yeah, well, you might not come back out. I might go to where the bear went. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh god, Borio might have gone to where the bear went. I'll uh, take my bandolier off and like have him grab the other end of it so he's got a little more length. Yeah. Alright, I do that and then I step in. You step you walking into it. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not D D unless you do something fucking reckless to solve the puzzle. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh all right, so yeah, Corlin, as soon as uh Dinka's whole body gets in, uh that bandolier goes limp. <laughs> and she's <laughs> holding a bandolier and uh ah! Yeah, Dink, it's like that scene at the beginning of Hellraiser where he's falling through the pit of fire. Pretty much. Uh, well, not quite. Uh, Dinka, you are just in a different place. Uh, it, it's very dark in here. Want to do a quick body inventory to make sure all my parts are still there? Do I see uh, anything? Or is it just black? Uh, it's pretty much just black. I uh, turn on my headlamp. Uh, you seem to be in a some kind of concrete room that's very old and dilapidated. There's rubble on the ground. No At least real it's not just sources. A void. <laughs> <laughs> it's just black. It's just it's a cosmic void. <laughs> Welcome to limbo, bitch. Uh, yeah, it uh, it seems to be some kind of old Soviet underground, you know, facility that you're in. Oh. From from what you can see. Uh, it's very dark in here. Your light goes about five feet before it just ends in darkness. It's unnaturally dark. Advanced darkness. It, this is advanced darkness. All right. Well, I want to call out for Boria. See if I get a response. Uh, yeah, no response. Good. I walked into the post-Soviet back rooms.
Um, well, shit. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Wait and see if anybody else comes in, and if not, I'm gonna try to. You, so you said it's a room, right? There's walls, or is uh, it just like a, there's a floor, but the walls are too far away to really so see? So there's there's a floor. Uh, looks like there's a door that goes out into a hallway. Uh, in okay. the room, there it's just empty. <clears throat> there's just nothing but like broken fucking ceiling panels on the floor. About how big is the room? Uh, it's like a ten by ten. Okay. Well, then I will head over towards the door and uh, try the door handle. Ah, uh, yeah, it opens opens right up. Oh, well, that's good. And All right, I'm going to stay here and see yeah. if anybody follows me or not. Okay. <laughs> well, outside in the hallway, Man. there's some dim red emergency lights. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's it's about it. Nothing else well, really in here. Kevin, uh... We're about fifty feet in, and we've lost half our party. What do you, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> There's a part of me that wants to double back. A part of you. <laughs> to There's a part of me that's tower. not suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that part. The bear bed it off. <laughs> I mean, we could go back to the watchtower, but we just had a fucking firefight there. That noise is going to attract things. That noise probably attracted the bear. Yeah. There's probably lots more creatures. Well. <sighs> we still don't have the package that we... Well, fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a bottle of vodka, take a big slug, and walk in. Are you shitting me, you potato? <laughs> <laughs> His sentence gets cut off as you walk in. You just hear, "Are you fucking shit?" <laughs> oh, let's see if Kevin really wants to uh, to go in. Oh, uh, whatever fucking Tigger says before fucking saying, here we go. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so after, uh, well, you're, you're waiting there for a long time, Dika, probably. Uh, it's probably eight hours, nine hours, and uh, Corlin comes through. Oh, that's fine. I need the time to recover anyway. No, uh, yeah, Corlin, <laughs> Cor Corlin comes through, and then, uh, you guys have your little reunion, and probably another, probably another good, uh, you know, eight to nine hours later. Uh, yeah, then Kevin comes through. Oh, it took your time to sign, didn't you? What do you mean? I just came in right behind you, you fuckoid. It's been like all day. I didn't wait like maybe fifteen to twenty seconds before I jumped in. What the hell? It's been. Dinka, how long we been here? Boy, I check my watch. Uh, it looks like about 16 hours. What? Well, you took your dear sweet time getting here, too. Ugh. Great. So, there is clearly some time Probably shenanigans. Like year 2050 by now. Yeah, so now the band's all back together. What do you guys do? Uh, I show them the door. Oh, uh, yeah, door goes out into a hallway with some dim red ass lights. <clears throat> all right. And uh, that's in the hallway. Did. Hold on. Trying to write notes and think at the same time. Can't brain. Goodly. Was that did that count as like any sort of a rest period for recovering health, or was that not long enough? Uh, I don't know. Sure, <laughs> sure. We need Boria back because he knows the rules. 
I'd have to look, <laughs> but uh, yeah, sure. We'll, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think health matters much anymore. Oh, we're in the back room. <laughs> we have left the stalker <laughs> franchise and entered an entirely new sci-fi BS franchise. Oh, I mean, you better pray to God Forrest or Deus Ex Machina's his ass into a <laughs> the, the same Not going to lie. Excited to see where this goes because we've deviated from the games and I'm all about it. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. could end, it could end in you uh, bowling a general Tachanko. I mean, maybe, but it's, I'm still interested <laughs> to see where it goes. <laughs> it, could, it, it could end in someone coming along with the uh, that Svarog detector and, you know, your just rotten dead bodies fall from the fucking <laughs> sky. <laughs> I hope I fall on them. Uh, yeah, so you guys go out the hallway or? Yeah. Okay, well, you go out into the hallway and uh, you see, you uh, guys can see a few feet down the hallway to the left. Uh, you see somebody in a, uh, you know, one of the ecologist bubble suits slumped up against the wall. Is oh. it yellow? Uh, yes, it is. Those best you can tell, red light. Oh. Well, yeah. I'll start heading that way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you get up to him. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to poke him with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just kind of slumps over. All right. Well, I'm going to rifle good. through his backpack and take a package. Uh, well, the package is in there. All right, good. Because it's so important now. Also, any food and water he might have left? Uh, yeah, well, that, that's, uh, yeah, there's an empty canteen on the floor. Uh, and yeah, uh, there's some food wrappers. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's all been drank or ate. Hey. That's not boding well. Uh, I want to pull his helmet off and take a look at him. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead. He's already dead. Does he look like he's been here for uh, yeah, it looks an like inordinate he's... amount of time? Yeah, it looks, looks, yeah, rigor mortis is there. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Will, bad news. He was here long enough to starve to death before we could finish off the bear and get in here. Good news is it's not like mummified or anything extreme like that. Right. Um, I think he has our artifact mama's beads. I want to make sure we collect that out of his bag. I think they're in there. Yeah. Well, let's start exploring and trying to find a way out of here. Uh, well, the hallway goes on for a while uh, in either direction. <clears throat> um, I have a compass. Does it do anything? Uh, your compass is uh, spinning around in circles. Oh, that's good. I want to take Boria's knife and then, like, scratch the hallway as we go. Yeah, you know? that's a good idea. All right. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, which, way, which way you go in left or right? Like, Right. Yeah, right, right sounds good to me. Right is right. All right, so you scratch the hallway, and you guys continue on. And eventually you come to a door that's closed. Going to open it. Okay, you open the door, and uh, it's just dark on the other side. Can't really see too far into it. Walk right on in. All righty, y'all walk in. Yes. Sorry, right. I'm here. I'm writing notes trying to keep up with this. You guys lead the way. Uh, so you walk in through the door, and uh, you are in a dark room. Can't really see too much inside of it. Uh, you can see a few feet in front of you. This looks like concrete. I will turn my flashlight on. 
Okay, as you, you still can't see too far. Uh, yeah, it's just a, just a room with... A, there's another door uh, that's open and leading out into another hallway that has some, uh, you know, same, the same red lights. Uh, you know, f- fucking ceiling panels on the floor. It's the same shit. Is there... What's the There's, ceiling look like? Hmm, Could I, like... Just, like, just the panels with, like, you know, some, some wiring above it. Could I, like, break through to the floor above type of uh, a thing? If you can find something to stand on, probably. <laughs> you can try. Kevin, give me a boost. <clears throat> All right, I give him boost. I'm gonna try and find a way to go up. Uh, there's some uh, yeah, there's 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 some wiring and shit. Uh, there's the the joists and the the little ceiling or the roof. Uh, but it looks like it's concrete above you. Bastard. All right. Yes. Stuff of the concrete up here. Guess we keep going, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Seems to be the only solution, or the only option. Solution. Yeah. <laughs> keep walking. <clears throat> uh, okay, you guys go into the hallway, and uh, yeah, same red lights as before. Uh, if you uh, look to the left, you see a slumped over body laying on the floor now. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, we've gone in a circle. All right. All right. I'm going to go back in the room. Okay. I'm going to start searching the wall for anything. Uh, no, it's just uh, four walls and that one door that leads into it. Concrete walls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to... This is Borea, right? We looped around. Uh, in the hallway? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you didn't I check. Want... But... <laughs> well, I want to check. Is this Borea again? Y- yeah, that's Borea. Yeah. Okay, so we looped around. Uh, I want to uh, check his PDA, see if he figured anything out before he died down here. Uh, you check his PDA, and uh, he's got a couple of entries. Uh, just the, the first one is, uh, I'm in a weird-ass place. I seem to be going in circles. The next entry is, uh, there's no way out. I'm fucked. Uh I don't know what, where I am, but you can't escape. I'm running low on food and water. And then the next entry is about a day later, and it's uh, just a bunch of incoherent sentences. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, this is when we panic. <laughs> right. I want to shoot at the ceiling. Down the hallway, just so the ricochets don't come in. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at the ceiling. Fuck it. I'm going to roll for tinnitus. 18. <laughs> uh, you shoot at the ceiling? <laughs> uh, like how, how are you? Sh- like what, what are you trying to accomplish by shooting at the ceiling? Break a hole through the ceiling. I feel like we're underground, so we should go up. Uh, you, you know, you... just break the concrete. Okay. Type of a thing. Yeah, all right. Uh, you, you eventually expend all of your ammo and yeah, make a, a, a small hole that you can, you can probably squeeze through, maybe. You hope. There's some light coming in from the top of it. Some, some more red light. I just poke my head through. <laughs> uh, yeah, you poke your head through, and uh, Dinka and Kevin, you guys see uh, his head pop through the uh, the floor. Oh shit! 
as he looks up at you. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well, good news is the bear isn't here. <laughs> is, that, is that good news? Now you get to fucking die at first. <laughs> Good session, everybody. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. <laughs> Tune in next week to see what happens. Tune in next week for, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Any other bright ideas? <laughs> uh, is the detector well, doing anything didn't work. as we walk around? Uh, no, the detector is not doing anything. Hmm. Well, other good news is there's no radiation here either. All right. I won't die by vomiting up my own gut, so there's that. <laughs> it's not going to be the cancer that kills you, is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, so we came out in this room here. I feel like if we break something in this room, that might be the way out. Oh, that's you're that could be the case. You're right. Well, does anything look particularly appealing as a target, or is it all just like plain concrete? Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just concrete blocks and concrete slabs. Wait. Where did we did I come out of when I came into this room? Let's shoot at that thing. Oh well, wherever it was, you spent all your ammo blowing through the <laughs> through the roof. Oh, I know. I'm I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but when he came in, did he like fall out of the ceiling, or did he just materialize, or how did that into work? like? Oh, you mean like back to when he stepped through were... the anomaly? And I was sitting in the room, and I watched him show up. What did I see? Oh, uh, no, he just appeared just in, Boom, out of in, air. in the dark room. Yep. Hmm. And the detector's not doing anything in that room in the area that we entered in? Nope. Good. I think this is what they call liminal space. Yeah. Do be like that. Now we're appealing to the Zoomers in the audience. <laughs> the back room <laughs> Yeah, if only there was a creature. That's why I should see that would have been better. If I was just like, there's something here, <laughs> like in the freaking board in your power, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not within the lore. Hmm. Neither are the back rooms, but it's working. Let me think. Uh, oh, they, have little they have little pocket dimensions, they did. That's what that train tunnel was. Yeah, let's say that so all. A few people. All we have to do is wait for Strelik to come through. Uh, or Scar, yeah. Or Scar, whichever Scar. game it was. The Scar. Damn it, too bad that he's Sharon now. I know. <laughs> more more infinite <laughs> rage from people. He's not Sharon. <laughs> I want to go grab all the Boreas ammo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and shoot at the wall some more. <laughs> wall some yeah. More. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hmm. The rest of the stream is just four hours of us not figuring anything <laughs> out, and then the game ends when we starve to death. I've got it. I'm going to go sit in the hole, like in between the two rooms. That's now you're thinking with portals. There we go. I'm going to take a lap around the hall, see if I see anything. Uh, anything stands out. Can I roll spot? Sure, yep. Or... Roll spot. Yep. Okay. Clear that. Roll this. I, I don't see anything. Three plus. Well, <laughs> in nineteen. Uh yeah, no, you don't, you uh, don't notice anything out of the ordinary or special about this place. 
Mm. If you didn't, if you didn't experience all the messed up stuff that you'd experienced, you'd never know that this wasn't just some, you know, hallway in a building, some infinite bunker. The room that we're in does it have two doors? Like, does the hallway pass through it, or does it like? No, it goes out. There's just the one door, and it's you go down door. the hallway, and then you just come back to the same door. Uh, no, it's uh, you you. You come out the the dark room into the hallway. You and it goes left and right, and you yep, left walk, and, right. and then you appear on the other side. Uh, then you you end up back in the room. Mm -hmm. There's only one door, but every time you open the door in the hallway and you go walk through the door in the hallway, you just end up back in the room. There's no door behind you. We'll go break the door apart. Just <laughs> break the door. <laughs> Any other bright ideas? I'm running out of shit to break, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk in the other hall, you open that door, and that's when it to the other side. Because, like, if you were assuming it was a standard non anomalous space, if you were standing outside of the door to the room, and you walked right or left, eventually you would come to a door at the end of the hallway, right? Yep. And no matter which way you pass through it, that's going to be that's going to be the loop that pops you back out the other side. Yep. So now it's just an open doorway. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. And presumably, if you sent somebody to both ends of the hallway. From their perspective, it would just be two people standing on the other side of an open door. Yep. Mm. Mm. Well, there's lights we haven't broken yet. Maybe it's the magic light. That's causing <laughs> yeah, then we can die in the dark. Loop. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Wait, if there's lights, there's power. Is there any conduit I can see from the lights? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna follow that. Pretty sure Anomalous dug out did an episode on this. Oh, did he? About like where's the electricity come from in the zone? Why is there why do all the buildings stop oh. power? <laughs> oh, okay. I, thought meant, like, I thought you meant specifically for this. I was like, oh no, because <laughs> like, he thinks of everything. Yes. Yeah, well, I I just well no, I just wrote a script for that actually. Like the, the oh compass, nice the compass huh. artifact and the, the space anomalies. <laughs> So can't dig out, can't go around. Tools aren't working. Is there anything on Borea? Because I don't have access to his inventory, so I can't see what's actually in his backpack. Is there anything in there that looks like it might be useful? Uh, not really. Uh, the food and water is probably the most useful, and that's gone. Yeah. Uh, you went through his PDA, you got the package, you got the mama's beads. Uh, not much else. Yeah. Do we know what's in the package? Uh, it was samples, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Like some kind of <clears throat> bylaw. Oh, yeah, and this is a time time uh, yeah. restricted mission, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Get there well, quicker. The sport, the samples spoil. They won't spoil in here because time goes faster on the outside. So we are keeping them fresh. That's true. You are you are basically acting as a uh, interdimensional refrigerator at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Compass. Are there any like different protrusions in the hallway? Like 
Uh, so any other bright ideas? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> Keep your legs on, Frog. The, uh... A lot of directions to destroy and like... Yeah. Well, I probably, I should, throwing... I probably shouldn't remind you. I think you have grenades, don't you, Poro? <laughs> I have two smoke grenades. Oh, just smoke grenades, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry. I was already trying to think, like, could I make, using my cart craft chemical, take my batteries and matches <laughs> <laughs> and craft some sort of grenade? <laughs> MacGyver it. Yeah, some bubble gum, a length of shoelace, and a paper clip. Escape the spatial anomaly. Yes. Mm -hmm. You give MacGyver three days to do it. You come back and check on him. He's just laying in a pool of his own diarrhea. In the fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, anomaly detector doesn't do anything over at the doorway, the one that loops. Nope. Hmm. It also didn't seem to pick up on the actual spatial anomaly to start with either. Uh, well, you guys have been in for a while. Uh, roll some well saves. Okay. Six. Oh, roll a... 21. <laughs> Eight. Okay, what's... Uh... And uh, 16 plus 4. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so as you guys are just, I guess... Rubbing okay. the walls and trying to <laughs> figure yeah. out a way out. Uh, Dinko starts to just uh, he starts to start talking about some you know weird off the wall theories. He's got something about like the zone being angry. Uh, and Dinko, you really have this like dreadful feeling that, that you guys did something to offend the zone, mm -hmm. and that's why you're stuck in this place. And and you are very convinced that the only way to appease the zone is uh, with blood. Oh, good. This gets better and better. <clears throat> yeah. So do, do that. Do with that what you will. It's because we sent the bear into the other one. If we hadn't sent the bear in, then we probably wouldn't have pissed it off. We sent the bear someplace important. We probably sent it into the goddamn CCP, oh, for fuck's CPP, sake. CNPP, whatever. PP, TP, TP, TP. Ah. So, hey, you know, there's a perfectly good body right over there that's still full of blood. Blood, yes. It is yeah. full of blood. Does he starve to death? He didn't bleed to death. Can I make a blood sacrifice from Porteous <laughs> corpse? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what, just what just disembowel him. <laughs> spread his fucking organs out. Yeah, go for it, bud. I'm sorry, Normal. I'm compelled to do it by a failed will save. <laughs> These guys come back and I'm fucking finger painting with his goddamn entrails. <laughs> Did this work? Uh, well, uh, you you guys watch as uh, Dinka begins to just completely gut you know, bore his dead body and starts spreading his blood around and uh, smearing it all over the walls, moving his organs in different permutations on the ground. Maybe if we take his heart and we send it through the doorway at the same time as, hmm, no, he only has one heart. How do we do that if he only has one heart? Why can't you have two hearts, you son of a bitch? Okay, so it's got to be the lungs. The lungs, the heart and the lungs. Oh, good, I'm glad we're on the same page here. Okay, so if we put the heart in one of the doors, put the heart in the infinite motion machine. I put the heart in the infinite motion machine. 
Yeah, it uh, it reaches terminal velocity. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't helping. <laughs> this is uh, this is supposed to be. Sure, we haven't tried long enough on this this route. <laughs> this is supposed to be stalker, not doom. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, the yeah, the distance is thirty three feet long. So if we take it down, can we take it all the way around through the other hallway? No, you that's guys, you guys needed rope. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we can climb out. Oh yeah, any other bright ideas? <laughs> Balls. Man. Other than smash all the light bulbs, I got nothing. I was gonna say, I mean, it, it, well, it seems like Deke bloody. is going insane. Corwin's already been there. Shoot, shoot, the walls. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, shoot the walls. Get shoot on my break, break, break the light bulbs. <laughs> hey, you know, when in doubt, smash shit. I don't know. <laughs> I will brute force every puzzle. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing great, though. <laughs> good, 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 good. You're so close to figuring it out. Almost there. I can feel it. Just a little, <laughs> little more. How do we do this? We've picked up the zone. So if we want to make the zone I, happy, what does the zone like? The zone likes to have. Hmm. I think the zone likes killing people. The zone does like killing people. Who said that? If you light something on fire, I got matches. What's to burn? <laughs> You didn't even fail your will save. You're just enjoying it. <laughs> it's deliberately <laughs> fail. <laughs> well, I've got no other ideas, so we're we're just starting with off the wall shit. We could set something on fire, like in the hole in the wall, in between the two layers. Set it, we set it on fire. Do it. Set the door on fire. Is it wood? Is the door wood? Uh it's metal. But uh, damn it, metal burns sometimes, right? Don't have the magnesium, magnesium door. <laughs> it's, it's just a <laughs> magnesium door. <laughs> Lithium. Just... <laughs> so if we just do, Ooh. we have this goes around and, the loops and we have blood everywhere. So then we need more blood to control. Some new circle get a demon. No, that won't work. We don't need a demon. We could, uh, mm -hmm. this here is strictly for the viewers. Well, you're incoherent <laughs> mumbling for <laughs> us, <laughs> the limelight party. Yeah, also, yeah. that, yeah, that's in character, sir. I am role playing. I'm an artist. <laughs> hmm. Jump into the space anomaly. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys didn't want to play anymore, you could have just said. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the bear was going to be what took us out. The bear wasn't None. even that bad. You guys almost killed it. <laughs> it was scary. You had it down to like 20 HP. <laughs> There's got to be a solution. To, this is metagaming. There has to be a solution to this puzzle, or he would have just been like, well, you guys are fucked. Roll new characters. I mean, yeah, End there, of session. Uh, so there, there has to be a solution to this. Yeah, there, there is one that I just made up like off the cuff. I was like, I'll give it to you guys if you do X. <laughs> and uh, You're pretty far off from fucking X at this point. <laughs> far away from X. Okay, what well, hasn't we tried? <laughs> Okay, so blood sacrifice is the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, I would say it's closer to the correct direction than breaking things. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why I'm going to fall upon my knees and apologize to the zone for breaking his nice, very, very beautiful things. I'm sure the zone's very happy <laughs> to hear your apology. 
We have to embrace the monolith. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign continues from a wildly different direction. <laughs> Suddenly we're attacking the, the uh, not the cordon, fucking the barrier from the other side. Maybe if you die, you wake up back in the zone. Maybe Borg is already there waiting for us, looking for us. That's that that's uh that's that's an option. <laughs> That's the way out, and it's either you kill yourself or we just sit here until we all give up on the puzzle and starve to death and then <laughs> respawn outside. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe Fucking we just haven't been going zip through around <laughs> in my peripheral. <laughs> this is distracting. <laughs> it's adding to the uh, mental instability role play. <laughs> just slowly losing your mind. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like start sprinting down the hallway. Just, just keep going. Maybe it's just because we're too slow. We need to go faster. Speed. I am speed. Gotta go fast. All right. Well, you san you you sanic the hedgehog down the hallway. Sanic the hedgehog. And uh, yeah, you, you run through the door, and yeah, you end up in the dark room, and you run into a wall. <laughs> Damn! Did you find a way out? Do you know the way? That's not the way. <laughs> Do you know the way? Do you know the way? No. <laughs> that is not the way. <clears throat> Uh, think a think a think a mm. dunka, please. Dunka, <laughs> thunka, dunka, grug. No, no, uh, grug already <laughs> broke holes in the walls and smashed the light bulb. Yeah, no, I took it, it's in my pocket. Oh, yeah, uh, take care of it. No problem. Should I put it back? And sit on it like an egg and hatch a new zone. Grog has stolen from the zone. He must be punished. <laughs> we need to put more lights. It's dark. It's too dark. We need to install more light bulbs. Well, there's Boreas clothes. We could make uh, fire, or torches, or or I don't know. Is there mm. any light sockets in the dark room? Uh, nope. Damn. Yeah, transport a bulb into there. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing nothing in the dark room. It's just a concrete floor, cinder block walls, and a drop tile ceiling. Yep. And a metal and a door. Hole in the wall. And a hole in the wall. And an infinite energy generator with a bullet and a heart flying through it at terminal velocity. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, we think that to be a solution. Well, I mean, like I said, this will be the one time to metagame. You need a compass artifact, don't you? Isn't that what it was? Yeah. We already yeah. looked for artifacts. So, compass, compass, compass on the. Put the compass on the mother's beads in the container. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a compass artifact. Just put the compass in the artifact container. Abra Jesus fucking Christ. Abra cube. 
<laughs> do it. Cadabra. <laughs> so fucking stupid it just might work. Just do it. Just stuff the fucking compass into the artifact container. <laughs> Uh, you put the compass and the mama's beads in the container, and uh, magically, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> if that worked, I was actually going to be mad. <laughs> <clears throat> I should have made it worth it. <laughs> Damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? That's what it was. That's so dumb. <sighs> yeah, but see, that's the thing. It's even metagaming. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help out. Like, like I said, doing research, metagaming. <sighs> because we've already searched for one. We've searched the whole place and haven't found anything. The detector's not finding anything. We physically aren't finding anything. We've literally ripped the place apart. Use the actual compass, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Just play with the battle mat. <laughs> this is my brain loading screen. Do, 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 do. I'm going to like drag one shoulder against the wall and just touch every single wall in the entire place I can touch. Uh, you guys uh, s stare on as Corlin begins to uh, dr <laughs> drag his body across the walls. I assist because that seems like something I would do since I'm going crazy. Okay, uh, you you eventually get through all the walls. <laughs> You've uh, rub, rubbed them down and rubbed your shoulder against them. Mm. Is there anything under the floor tiles on the floor? That was just a bare concrete floor. floor. It's just concrete. No, floor, I mean like yeah. the ceiling the ceiling tiles oh. that are on the floor. No, uh, no. There's floor under the same time. Mm, yes, this floor is made of floor. And there's not even house meat inside this thing. Rude. Very rude. Well, hey, you guys made it, you know, you guys made it a few hundred meters into the red forest from the firefight and that's an accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Yeah. Doing pretty good, man. Uh, how did they get him out in clear sky? It was... Is that the one where you're at the the arena looking building and you hear no, that was the tunnel. Uh yeah, the one I'm thinking of was from Anomaly. No, Clear Skies is the one where you get the artifact of Forester. Mm-hmm. And then uh the call of Pripyat one you get it from Noah. All right, I'm going to take the detector out and fiddle around with it again. Okay. Uh... So we've already walked and scanned the whole place, right? Yep. We didn't detect anything. Oh, hey, at least I know what thumbnail I can use for this episode. That'd be good. <laughs> Just an hourglass <clears throat> running out. <laughs> Just a clock. <laughs> Just a, that was that meme with the guy who's bored and then he turns into a fucking skeleton. That works. The most exciting episode yeah. of Stalker TV ever. OP will deliver anytime now. That's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Surely. He didn't forget.
Hey, at least we don't have to do a bunch of like you know stupid dice rolling or combat. Yeah, or... that's no fun. No one likes it's to roll dice. Stupid. I'm gonna go around, and touch every square inch of floor. <laughs> Just drags his tongue across. Yeah, the floor. yeah that's gonna get the liquid. Every square, right. every square millimeter of the of the pocket dimension must be tasted <laughs> to escape. Yeah, I hate metagaming. But since you've told us twice to fucking metagame, I looked it up. And the Savrog de- detector can collapse it because it emits some sort of a frequency. So presumably yeah. we could probably fucks with a detector to get it to do that. But I can't think of any sort of in-game reason to justify doing that. Like, I don't think my guy would know to do that. He's got a little bit of mechanical ability, but I don't think he would know how to work a fucking uh, yeah, anomaly so detector. Gonna say the, uh, well, and the Spark one is like a completely new design, too. Right. So it's a different animal. So it's not like just playing with the fucking frequency knobs on this thing is going to do it. Probably not. So I don't even... Even metagaming's not helping. Now I feel dirty. I feel less dirty because it didn't work, but I still feel dirty. Well, how'd the other guys get out? You showed up and collapsed the anomaly. And they got out. Like the player character showed up. Well, they didn't. Didn't they die? You find their uh, dead bodies in there. Yeah, and uh in yeah, and uh call it Pripyat, yeah. I'm just gonna keep running it walking through the exit. Or the not the exit, the the loopy bit. Okay, you you, <laughs> you continue the loop. <laughs> <laughs> How did the other guys get out? They died. Uh-huh. Shit. Well, in, in uh frog. Man, in Call of Pripyat, yeah, like the the space anomaly was dead duty storage. <laughs> dead duty storage. <laughs> in uh, <laughs> in uh, clear sky, it's different. Isn't that the one with the Savrog where you collapse it? No, that's that's uh, Call of Pripyat. Okay, so that's the one with the compass where you navigate it. Yeah, we don't have a compass. We can't find a compass. Well, how how do you find a compass? Presumably with an anomaly detector. Oh, but that's so wrong. You don't even know lore. Right? Why do you I don't know lore. Why do you even try? Just delete Good thing channel. that I don't run a <laughs> internet lore channel. No, but you still have to delete your personal YouTube channel because that's fine. There's nothing still... of value there anyway. That's not true. I learned how to make a uh, uh, gunny paste. Oh yeah, come watch how to make cat grease and fire starters. Yeah, okay. Cunny you're piece. given it by you're given it by people. Forrester gives you one, and the zone itself gave it to him. But the zone likes Forrester. It doesn't like us clearly because we need to sacrifice blood to the zone. It made it angry. It doesn't like us. All right, so, so we have a detector, come. right? Yeah. What well, he hooks more batteries to the detector to make it detect more. So we, we need to detect. It. Wait, I've seen enough Star Trek to know what we need to do. We need to reverse the polarity. Yeah, you got to reverse the polarity of the tachyon disruptor. Uh huh. Yep. And that'll probably Star Trek. Yeah, that'll probably help. But only if the dead lithium crystals are charged 100. percent If they're not, you're probably done. Unfortunately. Well, power. Yeah, they're both given to you. One's from Noah, one's from Forrester. Yeah, it'll be a good time. So we need to get out, go to Forrester's Tower, get a compass, come back, use that to get out. (laughs) Escape from the uh, escape from the, the anomaly and then go back and then, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. I mean, what do you what, do? You have any I, ideas? For, do you have anything? I would like to open the terminal, and in the command prompt, give myself the compass anomaly or artifact. That could it's just work. a tilde button. 
Dude, I want to I want to press the tilde button and then just press, spawn press, one into the world. Press tilde on your uh, PDA. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Have we tried turning the detector on? <laughs> it is the, oh, it's really <laughs> you forgot to breathe. You forgot you didn't say you were breathing. <laughs> Silly gooses. I'm going to get on Amazon and I'm going to order us a compass detector or a compass artifact and have it thrown into the anomaly for us. <laughs> okay, so I guess here's the question at this point. Because <laughs> so, we're going on two hours now. Two hours is literally <laughs> nothing. Just when you publish this video, just put this whole section in fast forward so it's just a bunch of. <laughs> What were they yeah, saying? What did I miss? Nothing. Literally nothing. No, literally nothing. Uh, so do, do, do you want to die and end up rolling new characters, or do you want the DM to save you? <laughs> it's up to you guys. Maybe uh, it's a bitch to roll up a new character, because I forget <laughs> every time. I mean... <laughs> No one wants to TPK, but Deus Ex Machina is also shitty. Yeah, there, there's really no good option. I mean, the, the the best way to avoid this from happening is just not go into the fucking space anomaly. No, that's not an option. I mean, while sometimes <laughs> it does just teleport you somewhere else, I mean, it, it's not always an episode of Stargate here. <laughs> If you didn't want us to do something stupid, there should have been a consequence when we investigated it. <laughs> and when there was no consequence, we're going in. <laughs> have you ever DM before? The consequence is you get sucked in. <laughs> like, there's... You got Gaxian motherfucker. <laughs> this is the era of 5e. This is a huggier, kissier era, era yeah, of DM. No, it's not. This is it's supposed to be nice to your players. This is AD and D hours, buddy. <laughs> All right, no, I don't we want Deus Ex Machina. You don't you have. Did to... say that there is a solution. Yes, there is. If you don't have five backup PCs already rolled up, what are you doing? I actually, unironically, have you're, one. You're He's just out even, of date. You're not even playing. <laughs> ah. Ha 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 ha. So what haven't we investigated yet? <clears throat> not the light bulbs, not the floors, not the wall, not the ceiling, or what's under it, not the doorways, not the doors. We not haven't found the spot where the, uh, where the artifact materializes. Mm. You're getting warmer. Are we sure the, the detector does nothing, or is it just very faint? Uh, it does nothing. Okay. It, it does absolutely nothing. We've totally just ransacked Boreas corpse in the most disrespectful <laughs> way possible. Desecrated his body. It's... So, so much for bringing him back you know, if you ever decide to come back oh, and play. That, that ship sailed when you went in. <laughs> like <after. laughs> Unless I could just say, oh, was, like, oh, he's not there. It, it, the, the space anomaly just chooses whether it wants to, like, I don't know. Like, I could have yeah. done that. But... Sorry, no, we haven't fucking killed every, every I haven't touched every square inch of the ceiling yet. Well, uh, give me a minute, guys. You keep brainstorming. I'll be back in like a few minutes here. One second. That must not be <laughs> okay. the solution. <clears throat> <Damn it. laughs> Have you snorted any of the dust off of the floor yet? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, but for real, what, there's got to be a solution. And even metagaming is mm -hmm. not pulling anything up because the closest it's... thing I could think of that would work would be to somehow rejigger the detector to act like a Savrog, but I don't. He didn't indicate that that would work. And I, can't I was trying to, yeah. Reason. That was with like the hook up more batteries to it. Maybe that'll. Right. 
juice it up. Uh, unless they happen to find the exit by chance. So. And we've tried touching everything and walking through all the space. Yeah. <laughs> Tech and nothing. Swoosie's just stepped away from his computer at this point. He just checks back in every once in a while to see if the battle map's moved. Oh, well, like, what the fuck am I going to say or do? I mean, like... <laughs> hmm. If we hook up the detector to a PDA, <clears throat> that'll do... Yes. Yeah, so, yes. And walk back to that. Yeah, that, uh, that's how you do it. Just plug the USBs in. <laughs> yep. Oh, There's no sorry. artifact inside sorry, guys, it's, it's, Sorry, guys. It, it's a lightning cable. You're... You only had the <laughs> No, it's done. proprietary. Absolutely proprietary. Hmm. Is there anything we haven't touched or fiddled with yet? Um, I mean, I think you guys have done touched everything. But... Got it. Put the detector in the light socket. Do it. There's literally nothing to lose. Do it. So what we need to do is we need to roll up a new party that just beelines for this anomaly and throws in <laughs> throws in a, a compass artifact. Uh, Where do we even find them? It's a great question. Luckily, those characters I already know because that's the way we rolled them up. I'm going to like roll search to find a uh, compass artifact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go! Yeah, ro roll the search. <laughs> roll the search. Oh, so that worked. Good. But but it's plus uh, plus two from the search. Action and... point. Action point. Yeah, fuck it. Action point. Fourteen. So if you die with action points, you were doing it wrong. That's true. That is the thing. Oh, boy, you died with action points. What a loser. <laughs> I want to harvest Boria's action points. Uh, that's in his heart. It's now in the perpetual motion machine, unfortunately. Radio signals can't get out or in. Um, Detector's not working. Uh, I mean, you, you really have no way of knowing. Like, you... Your PDA is well, not getting have... messages, but yeah, you have no way of knowing if radio signals are getting out. But yeah, they apparently can't. No, that's a good point. Just spam a bunch of SOSs. I was going to say, we could have been broadcasting your ramblings this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then when people will come to investigate that. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck it. I might as well try and blast an SOS out. Does it send? Or does it fail to send? I want to find a hollow pipe. <laughs> I think by definition. No, like for real, like if you send a message on the PDA, does it like fail to send or does it just uh, it doesn't does say. It seem like it goes through? Ah! Guys are stupid. 
We didn't use our communication devices. Start sending out SOSs. There like a distress beacon on this thing. Uh, I'm no. gonna start sending out apologies to the zone. <laughs> While it's time continuing to walk the loop. Say we we're taking contact in the red forest. We need some help. Fell into the anomaly. Yep. Boria was here long enough to starve to death. I feel like he would have thought about that. And we didn't get any messages from him. Little time dilation is weird. We're sending all of our messages 50 years into the past. <laughs> that, <laughs> that could be a thing. <laughs> Retroactively Some guy, start um, getting messages from like when your guys are in a cord. <laughs> you're, yeah. getting, you're getting your old messages. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been fun. Shame that wasn't thought of ahead of time and well, set up. Well, if only I I'd, I'd knew you guys would do this to yourselves. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> okay. But even if they get our messages, seconds are hours. So by the time anybody actually gets out here, it's going to be a whole long time away. Probably would have survived the rescue attempt in that case. But, you know, put them out there. Um, hmm. Uh, any uh, any other ideas? I haven't stopped thinking about it. I know this is terribly exciting content, but I am thinking about it. Okay, so if the PDA maybe worked, that's the closest thing that we've got to anything that actually worked. We're not receiving anything, though. We still haven't received anything? It's not just like time dilation, fucky wucky? Nope. We have not seen anything. Um, what other features does the PDA have? It's got a map. It's got the comms. It's got the encyclopedia. Is there anything in the encyclopedia about this? Uh, nope. <laughs> what else is there? The leaderboard. That's not helpful. There's notes. Has Boreas received anything? He's been down here longer. Uh, you check Boreas, and uh, yeah, there's been a couple messages come in. Ah, aha, aha, aha. Okay. Is there anything, anything substantial, or is it just uh, chatter? It's just chatter shit. Okay. So that's good. So radio signals can go in and out. There's just time fucky wookiness. It's possible. I mean, but you're right. You know, it could be a while before you get out of here. You know, just because the, you know, <clears throat> the time fuckery. And then <clears throat> there's nothing significant about like the time stamps on those or anything that useful there. Uh no. Okay. Um because it time stamps it on your end, not the not the actual estimate. Not what it was sent. Yeah. 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 What else is it? There's a clock on there. Or I'm also probably wearing a watch. Is that doing anything yeah. weird? Uh, no, the watch is going normal. Uh, your, uh, yeah, your your clock on your, you know, compared to you know Boreas is way different. Right, that makes sense. You know, days but off, but things that were locally the same, like my watch and my PDA, PDA, are they yeah, still in sync? Yep. Hmm. 
Okay. Drawing a blank on the actual features of the PDA. Is there any other features on there that I haven't thought of? The map, the comm system, the encyclopedia. The f There's some like really video game shit, like, you know, the faction relations and. Uh, not, uh, yeah, not, not much. Nothing else useful there that I'm just not thinking of that I would probably think of if it was in my hand and I could see the screen. Uh, no, not that I can think of. Yeah. Okay. Um, the detector's not doing anything. Does the detector send out? Well, I, would, I guess I wouldn't know if the detector emits anything like that. It just works. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Thanks, anyone, Todd Howard. Yeah, I don't think anyone really knows how the detector works. <laughs> like, other than uh, you, you hold it up to something and it you know, sniffs it, it. Maybe I don't. Sometimes uh, it beeps and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I, I don't know how how it would work, but I want to stick the detector through one of those weird loops that we made by making holes in the wall. Does it do anything? Because it didn't do anything uh, when we looped around the uh, hallway. But no. Okay. Hmm. Riveting gameplay. I know. Aren't you guys glad that you waited? When was our last session? It was supposed to be the 26th <laughs> uh, of last month. Yes, because Easter we weren't going to be doing anything probably, so... Well, and then they didn't even get to hear session nine. I know. Which was on the 26th of February. Oh, man, we had like a two-week break between both of those, or a three-week yeah, break yeah. between both of those. Yep. Aren't you guys glad you've waited two and a half months for this session <laughs> since February 19th? <laughs> you've waited two months for this. I hope it's everything that you had dreamed it would be and more. This is quality content, okay? There is a solution. We're just not thinking about it because we're too fucking stupid. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I've touched everything. Yeah. I don't think it's anything to do with the actual physical space that we're in because, yeah, you touched everything. The I mean, I've tried praying anything. to the zone. This is being weird. I apologize to the zone. You apologize to the zone. Work. Yes, you did. Yeah. Is there any way to tell like, if the signal strength is any better in one area or another? No, not really. How many bars am I getting? Is it 3G, 4G? Uh, I think it's probably what? like 1R. <laughs> so what year is this again? <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. What else do we have? We got the mama speeds. Are the mama speeds radioactive? Uh, slightly, yeah. I've got to see if this are done. I fish the mama's beads out and see if they interact with anything or do anything. Or at the very least, I probably need to heal, so I should carry them around anyway. I like I, moving through the yeah, space. The, do they the seem to? Mama's do beads anything? don't seem to do anything, though. No. Take my compass back out too. Does the detector go off next to mama's beads? Uh, yes. Okay, so that still works. Good call. We should we should detect everything. I mean, it did detect everything. It didn't work. Do it again. <laughs> Which one of us failed their will save? <laughs> <laughs> you failed it in real life. I just I just feel like after a while of, of... This mind bending, oh, my head is now on the floor type thing. Huh? Yeah. It's gonna be that, that, of... that is how it works. <laughs> Fucky wucky to you, brainy wainy. Um, okay. Any so... avenue of escape. There's always the one we haven't done yet. <laughs> There's always one avenue. <laughs> he keeps joking about it, which makes me think it's the way, real way out, but it also makes me think. Roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> it is a way out. It is a way out. That's true. Detect all the wall. Dude, and I'll hold you up. You can detect in the ceiling. Maybe there's something up there. 
they because could it's harder them. to get to them there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, fucking blood sacrifice to the zone. Man, I don't want to do this and be wrong. <laughs> do what? <laughs> yeah. It's something that'll get your channel demonetized, or this video demonetized. Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta say Flip it out. We're not live say, streaming. You gotta say a gamer word <laughs> to get that that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta do that. <laughs> Use the blood and start making some windmills. <laughs> uh, okay, another hint. All right, so how did Forrester get his? It, the zone gave it to him. Okay, how did Noah's get hit? How did Noah get his? I don't know. Sonopedia, don't fail me now. Noah, your mom lets you have two compass artifacts? <laughs> <laughs> At least two. Oh, yeah. This is the guy on the boat. Yeah, this is Boatman. Crazy Boatman. Yeah, so uh <laughs> gleaning any ideas or two of them I think I'm looking more. Hold on, hold on. I'm metagaming. I'm metagaming. This is so cheating. <laughs> It's okay. I hate it. Well, I'm going to allow you to cheat or you can roll new characters, whichever one you want. I'm trying to figure out how he did get his. We've got two of them. It doesn't say. No ideas. Hold on, hold on. I'm still cheating. Don't starve us to death yet. <laughs> I should have ah! I, what I should have done was set. I, there's a timer feature in this thing. I should have just used you the know. timer feature as soon as like you guys stepped in. I've been like, here you go, boys. <laughs> That wiki doesn't say. What a useful, what a useful, useful tool, the wiki. Well, because there's not much information about it. <laughs> Can get one from Noah. It doesn't say where he got it. If only we played this session after my compass video came out. Damn it. <laughs> only.
We have to end the session here, wait until you publish that one, and then play again <laughs> next week limbo. and pick up where we left off. <laughs> well, I have that one. I still, I'm still working on it, but that one's going to be released in like a week or two. So, yeah, it, it's, it'll be a while. You ready to tap out? I mean, it's not like we haven't tried and exhausted a lot of avenues. <sighs> Shit. Do you guys have any other ideas? No. Even no, we don't no. see how Noah's getting them. <laughs> I could reach up my ass and try and find the compass there. The one you find in clear sky is here in the red forest, but we can't get to it. It's just sitting on a shelf in the mine. If only you took a different route. <laughs> Should have went in the other anomaly. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> we need a TARDIS. Yeah, you could use that, except I'd probably dock you XP for you know, liking Doctor Who. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You can like Doctor Who up to a certain point. No, you can't. Get out of here. After eh, Capaldi's kind of the cutoff point. Eh. Joke's on you. I've never seen an episode. Tom Baker is the only doctor that matters. <laughs> Shit, bros. Yeah, I ain't got no ideas. I mean, <laughs> nobody's going to help my dumbass roll a new character. I think Meat's trying to do the brain stuff, but it's just fuzzy. The thing I'm going to sit in front of the infinite motion machine and try and cut the heart as it goes by. <laughs> I think you could be on to something there, man. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. That, I mean, why not? You know, that's your only form of entertainment at this point. <laughs> Basically, the compass yeah. was in his heart all along. That's what killed him. It manifested inside <laughs> of his heart. <laughs> well, you guys gave it the good old college try. Shit. Well, I mean, we did. You, you did. You did. You did. Shit. Fuck. No. Worst TPK in history. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, we haven't put a person through the infinite motion machine. <laughs> That's true. You're right. <laughs> go hey, if you're going to go out, you might as well go out having fun. <laughs> <clears throat> so are we TPK or are we doing like, DM, help us? Our only hope. It's up I to you guys. A fucking lot. We're choose, not smart choose enough to now it out. Or, or choose now or forever. Hold your peace. I'm I'm curious as to what the Deus Ex fucking uh, is. Yeah, I wonder yeah. what the fucking solution to this puzzle is. Re regardless of if we give up and quit or if we get Deus Ex out of here, I want to know what the fucking solution is. I might tell you, but uh, yeah, okay. So we got one to be one to save your your asses. <laughs> what, what do the rest of you say? Oh, uh, that's two to save our asses just because I can't think of another character right now. <laughs> well, we I have time. to pick a new accent. We have time. <laughs> to come up with characters and shit. Okay. Oh, well, two one, two one to be saved. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. So after you guys slowly begin to lose a little bit more sanity and your mouths are getting quite dry, your tummies are rumbling. And all hope seems lost. You hear a voice coming from the dark room. Calling out, saying, hello, who's there? Anybody in here? Shout back to it. <laughs> go in there and shout at him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you shout Yeah, at? we're in here! <laughs> we're in here! Why don't you come on in? No! <laughs> Don't invite him in. Oh, well, uh, you see a man step out of the dark room into the hallway. God damn it. Now there's just another of us. 
I'd say uh, an older gentleman <laughs> wearing some uh some some green fatigue looking clothes. Now, how long you guys been in here? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long okay. enough for uh just kind of gesture around. Well, hurry up, follow me, follow me. And the uh he pulls out some weird looking object that has glowing green uh little crystals kind of protruding out of it. <laughs> and yeah, Does he the detector to... react to it. Uh yeah, yep. Yeah. So if there was one here, we would have found it. And he uh begins to walk down the hallway towards the door you guys broke. <laughs> <laughs> Watch uh, out for a perpetual motion machine here. Yeah, he uh, he he looks at the blood and guts everywhere. <laughs> he just decides to leave us behind. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, <laughs> about that. And uh, he walks through the door, and uh, it disappears with you guys close behind. <sighs> And uh, Wait. yeah, what? How did? No, go on. Carry on. Okay. And yeah, and as you guys walk through, you also uh, appear back in the red forest, outside of the uh, the space bubble. What the fuck was that? Uh, thank him profusely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you don't want to fall into these guys. You really don't. <laughs> just scatter, scatter. <laughs> get, get out of this. <laughs> yeah, just get away from it. And yeah, step back. Make uh -huh. permanent note that we don't go near We're floating in. fucking clear bubbles ever the fuck again. You're lucky that We're I got your transmission. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Who are you? Oh, my name's Forrester. I live up the road here. I make my home here in the forest. Uh, you guys aren't the first ones to come across, you know, problems with these uh these anomalies. I want to ask him what the date and time is to see how much time has elapsed. Uh, it's uh, you guys have been in there about a week in normal time. Oh, goody. Yeah, it's not so bad actually. I guess we did survive. We didn't start that, so it couldn't have been too long. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you're in there for you know, your in your guys's you know perspective, it was like a day or two. I mean, oh, good! Guys, I went that crazy in 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I mean, I think I think that make crazy. I think that make like anybody crazy just have to experience mm. that. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, he uh, he, he says uh, he just make sure you're okay, and uh, says I'm I'm going to uh, go away now before I end up like your uh, your friend who was uh, <laughs> in there. <laughs> Try not to uh, think about it too hard. <laughs> With the blood oh, that's no. on my finger, I'm going to draw a smile <laughs> and on my ass. On your screen? <laughs> <laughs> You're like fucking Emil from Halo. I mean, I think you, you guys basically are monoliths now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Forever. no. I tried the prey thing. It didn't work. Forever changed by the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you mean oh, you did package. <laughs> what you package? <laughs> yeah, you forgot the package. <laughs> we need to go back. <laughs> no, I have it. I just don't think I think it's important anymore. <laughs> Money's not really a thing I care about now. <laughs> uh, well, Jupiter is a place to go. I mean, we were heading there anyway, so. They do have a bar, which at this point I really need. We'll just drop it off to him and say, like, all right, here you go. And then just, like, have that be on us as they screech at a suitcase no, full of rotten shit. No, it's still fresh. Oh, wow. 
It was on I mean, the correct side of the portal to maintain freshness. Frame? How long did we have total before the, the samples went bad? I think it was, I forget, it was a few days. Okay, we could still, in theory, make it. Oh, well, then, fuck it. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's go. This make way. My way <laughs> back around the road. I'm going to keep Orland between me and the forlorn <laughs> father. <laughs> well, uh, you guys see Forrester go off, and uh, you guys make your way back out to the safe path, and... Uh, Make camp and chill out for a minute and try to process what kind of shit you went through. We should make a sign uh, and say that one doesn't go anywhere cool. <laughs> Do not. Do no. Not. Here be bears. <laughs> Don't go here. <laughs> there be bears. Here be the back rooms. Yes. yes. The back bunkers. Uh yeah, and you guys uh you, you guys chill out and we'll call it there because it's like uh, going on what three hours now probably three hours of uh, yeah uh, uh, I like uh, the walls <laughs> the wall please licking. do the sped up like sped up audio <laughs> but only pausing only pausing for the most schizo deranged moments yeah. <laughs> deprive them of context yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they endorse this and just says throw it up <laughs> make them guess we made it from here all the way to there they're gonna look at this it's gonna get uploaded and all the other ones have a runtime of like three and four hours and this one's like 27 minutes they're like what yeah. the fuck happened oh this de <laughs> they're depriving us of content <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, there's just no content to be had. <laughs> you can't consume oh, nothing. God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what was the solution that we...